and Chris Bale. This is breaking news. Typical Sunday morning. But, yeah, get up, get ready, and now I have this long Sunday ahead of me. Uh, all right, here we are. I just got ready. Now I start my day officially. It's Sunday. Oh my gosh. So I get ready, I get on the road after I pack in all my equipment for the day. Um, you might be asking, uh, why do you have all that equipment in your backseat? Well, I play, at, I play at not one, but two different churches. Uh, the first church is Remnant Church, it's my father's church, and uh, I help out over there uh, by playing and singing, and so that's where I'm headed now. I'm just going to vlog my typical Sunday for you guys to see how, uh, you know, just to show you what I do. My Sundays are chock full of Jesus time. Oh yeah, while I'm driving on the, in the, on the Texas highways, that's when I try to learn all the songs. Because during the week I'm so busy with other things and weekends, you know, all my time goes towards, you know, friends, family, and my girlfriend mostly, that the only time to learn songs is in my car, so I just turn it up. And just learn how they go. Okay, now let me get my eyes back on the road so I don't crash. And look who pulled up right on time. Mom and Dad uh, just joined us. Up oh, here comes my brother. What's up, dog? What's up? You ready for church? Duh. What's up? New sticks? Cole plays drums at our church. Uh, uh, uh. Tell. If you're ever in the uh, Dallas area, you should come check us out. Remnant Church. Look it up. Time to set up. Set up time. Here, getting the mood set. Gotta get these lights popping, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Mom's like, ooh, ooh. What's up? Because of who you are. Because of who you are. Uh huh.
is real. Hurt is real. Life is real. When it hits you, your life turns ugly. In those moments, in those moments, you don't worship God for what He's done. You worship Him for who He is. All right, here it is. Service one down. Now it's time for service two. All right, and goodbye, Remnant Church. Up to church number two. Church number two is called Clear Path Church. It's in Mesquite, Texas. And um, also another great place. Uh, my friend Jordan Sutton is the pastor there. Very cool dude. Um, so yeah, I'm off to do that now. Yeah. Here we are, clear, 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 clear path time, baby. If you live in the Mesquite area, I highly recommend you check it out, baby. Ridiculous, dude. <laughs> like I do the doubles all the time, like. Big Dale. They're like, yeah, but I don't like that stuff. Yeah. That stuff is infringing on my rights. I'm like, oh. Interesting things to study, like when they do like MMA stuff, is takedowns. It's not that interesting. They have some wild ones. I, d I don't, I, over time, it's like God's been rewiring my brain or my heart, my faith, to know that I am bringing the gospel, I am bringing the good news, I am bringing the truth of God into every conversation that I'm in, that I represent Him. But I also have the opportunity to receive and encounter the nature of Jesus because He's put His fingerprint on the entirety of creation. And so much of ministry and life, when it's done well, is not just bringing the goods, but it's encountering Jesus in every situation with every person. Now, why would we give our lives to, to thinking that spiritual development is about 
getting better at your gifts or your talents or all of these, you know, whether it's gifts of the Spirit or whatever it is, all of these things fall. They fail in comparison to the one most important thing that matters, which is love. Completeness is not competence. Completeness is being perfected in love. Maturity is not honing your gifts, but, but getting into a deeper yieldedness to love. Church just ended. So what that means time to get some food. The lesson. This is like when my Kirk, wife Kirk is uh, challenged family. at the he shoulder says, massage. Says, <laughs> oh, it's a it's a hardcore ministry that I'm endorsed by. TLH Ministries. Check them out on Instagram, TLH Ministries. Yeah, it's really uh, positive and encouraging. I just got done crying, so I probably look like a little a right now. <laughs> Like, I'm like there with like two like football over. players. <laughs> and we're just like, Aah. I have long ass arms and legs, and so like I didn't realize like how scared. But people, I'm not, I'm not intimidated whatsoever. At least I think. But they're like, dude, when you get in the pit, you're another person. I'm here with two dudes that are like, like and it's like a bunch of emo kids yeah. that are like tiny. Yeah, and we're just <laughs> yeah. like, Aah. yeah. Aah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm plugging ticket sales at church. I'm so lame. <laughs>since I'm from West Texas, like, it's weird having, like, people that in up in North Texas, they're like, oh, that's cool, rather than, like, that's evil. <laughs> you know, whatever. I made it home after a long day. And my girl made me some food. Next year. No, 4th of July. Oh, he's not coming, I didn't tell you. Bullfucking shit, I know he's coming. <laughs> Bernie, I love you, brother. Learn how to play that goddamn Pearl Jam Yellow Belly. Oh, yeah, Bernie took a sabbatical. He's not playing anything anymore. Bullfucking shit. I'm serious. He said he was not going to play anymore. I'll whip your ass. <laughs> Son of a bitch, I love you, Bernie. Now...